Hello there, welcome! As you can see, today we'll be appreciating more Cold Steel music. This time, Cold Steel 2, Take the Windward, one of the potentially best minigame tracks I've ever heard in any JRPG. Aside from Yakuza, of course. <laughs> uh, Yakuza's music is on another level. Oh gosh, I just had a thought. Could you imagine if, if the Yakuza composers, the old Falcom JDK band, teamed up together and made music? Oh, that'd be... Whew. I don't know if we'd be able to handle that level of awesome sauce. Anyway, let's get to appreciating, shall we? Oh yeah. <laughs> and to think this is for a simple snowboarding mini game. <laughs> oh, we're, we're we have just traveled back in time to when I would play Cool Borders 4 on the original PlayStation. I can actually imagine this song being in that game. Unironically. <laughs> I love this part, this is my favorite part. Oh yeah, I had to let it play for you guys. <laughs> oh. I want you guys to listen to the music too, instead of just me talking over, <laughs> over the song. Oh, this is so good, man. Who's it? Oh, Osaki was the one that made this one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then it loops. Yep. Oh, the song is so heavy. I think I have this song requested for Jesse, uh, but I think it's a regular request. It's not like a a super he'll get to it ASAP request. Ah, oh, but Osaki was Osaki the one that did that one track from Nayuta? Hold on, I have to I have to check now. Ah, uh, yep, Masanori Osaki. I'm just gonna hold on. Ah, oh, man. I just gotta listen to this. We're not doing a Naruto appreciation, but I just... <laughs> oh gosh, this sounds... this sounds... Okay, I just wanted to get to that. Ooh! Oh, man. Seriously, Osaki must have went to like a power metal concert. Uh, you know what that... you know what that specific track reminds me of? And this one to an extent. This, this feels like what East music sounds like to me. Because I know East music is like very heavy a lot of the times. I haven't listened to very much of it, uh, but that's kind of that's kind of the, the general f takeaway feeling I get. It's almost insane how even the mini games in this have better music than so many other generic JRPGs. Why stop at music? You ask characters, story, world building, NPCs. Hello, <laughs> some some of the best NPCs. Oh, just uh, Anton and Ricky alone are better than like, NPCs in like almost every other JRPG. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Falcom Sound Team JDK can't be mere humans. <laughs> yeah, they're AI robots. They they already took over. It's impossible to get bored with the snowboard minigame when it has such amazing music. Yep. Oh yeah, that's when it drops. Yeah, the drop at 40 seconds always hits hard. Interesting, it gets a Zero no Kiseki vibe. Hmm, I can, yeah, I can see that, especially, well, no, I was thinking more of tracks from Azure. But as far as Zero, I mean, yeah, Intense Chase. Didn't Osaki do Intense Chase as well? Where is it? Oh, here we go, Intense Chase. Yeah, Intense Chase was Osaki. Okay, so Osaki has a very distinct heavy rock style. But then he also, <laughs> Osaki also did <laughs> Terminal Room. 
Oh, which is the pizza goblin hideout. Oh my gosh. Okay, he did feelings crushed. He did. Oh, he did the Swartz accent. Interesting. Oh, he did the CSPD theme. That's the, I love that theme. A crossbow. I'm getting ahead of myself. Osaki's arrangements were far from perfect, but the compositions are absolutely amazing. Hmm, interesting. The song is so trails from zero it hurts. <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh, a negative comment. Here we go. Code Steel Osaki. As always, I absolutely don't like the arrangement, and especially the guitar. But God, only Osaki is able to do melodies as satisfying as, well, the drop. He really knows how to get your blood pumping. Makes me want to snowboard naked. That would uh, cause a lot of frostbite really quickly. <laughs> you'd be losing parts that I don't think you'd <laughs> want to lose. Oh my gosh. Judging by the spreadsheet, this song was probably meant for Azure, but went unused and repurposed for Cold Steel 2. Hmm, you know, that is definitely a possibility. It could have been a leftover track that just got brought over. I find it strange though that this song uses liquid guitar? Nani? As opposed to virtual guitarist, the V- oh, the VST Osaki, actually used for his Azure tracks. Well, he used liquid for his Zero tracks. Oh, I guess they're different via- yeah, they're different VST programs that I guess have different styles of guitars in them? Interesting. Uh, this is the only result that popped up. Liquid guitar has been replaced by guitar. Is a virtual instrument audio plugin for Mac OS and Windows. It is powered by Liquid Player or VST plugin. Unites the collected power of the guitar universe. It contains a broad stylistic spectrum of guitar licks recorded from acoustic nylon and steel and electric guitars. Funk, R&B, pop, rock, rock and roll, blues, fusion, jazz, western, all the way to sound effects, rhythmically and so, so, oh, so, soloistically. <laughs> I was like, nani? What is that word? Soloistically played licks and phrases recorded as clean direct input, really amp recording with crunch, crunch, distortion, including feedback, tremolo, and wah wah sounds. The recordings were made with additional EQs, limiters, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then it gives like a breakdown of all the different guitars and things that were used to record the stuff. That's cool. I wish this was used in battles. As much as I love Blue Destination, it was used all over the place. Hmm. This <laughs> song is so fire it melted all the snow, if only. Uh, but hey, if it melted all the snow, then uh, Ymir wouldn't be as beautiful of a place. Then it would just be another <laughs> generic mountain town. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to snowboard. I can say, yeah, so a lot of people are comparing it to Zero. Hey, at least he named Inevitable Struggle and Intense Chase. Yeah, I mean Intense Chase is from Osaki. So it, it would make sense that it would have a sort of... It would have his uh, scent all over it. <laughs> or his uh, his DNA. This OST needs a super arranged version. True. True. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, okay, let's let's look for one more. Sounds like a Xenoblade track. Interesting. I can... Yeah, no. Yeah, it does kind of sound like a Xenoblade track. Xenoblade is very, very, like, heavy rock. Especially the remix for the first game. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Uh, mechanical Rhythm? Ooh, oh, oh. That song in particular. If you guys have not heard Mechanical Rhythm, here you go. Enjoy. Oh yeah, this song is so awesome. I'm only gonna go right there, 20 seconds. Same with Naita. <laughs> oh, there's your little taste of, of Xenoblade music. If you've never heard any before, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> 8.5 out of 10. Not Osaki. It, not Osa oh, not Osaki's best. I feel like my muscles grew bigger at 41 seconds. Reed Schwarzer's Pro Snowboard. Yeah. Oh, I love it when somebody makes a comment that's similar to me. Okay, well, that's that. We, we actually somehow went through all the comments. Well... We didn't go through the comment. We didn't go through the replies, but we <laughs> went through all the main comments. Yeah, just this song is awesome. It's just there's so much good music left to go through. Jeez. Oh, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like on it. It'll let me know you guys are enjoying this series, and it'll give me the motivation to continue. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm not going to continue anyway. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, I would... I, I've been... I... <laughs>
I started doing this with barely any views. Oh gosh, and look at me now. I've, I've come pretty far in three months. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this beautiful track. And what would you like to hear from next? Hmm, if I had to choose a song that was going to be next... If nobody else chooses one, which song would that be? You know, it would either be... Yeah, if I had to choose one, I would either choose The Comfort of One's Own Home from Cold Steel 1. I use that song a lot as background music because I, just, I love it. Or the other song that I need to use more <laughs> as far as background music. I feel like this song specifically from Cold Steel 4 is Reen's song. Even even if that warmth is small, you gotta, you gotta keep fighting, no matter how small. Oh gosh, Reen is such an under, uh, such a misunderstood character. Maybe, maybe that'll be a topic for another day. But yeah, um, I already did my outro, so I <laughs> uh, hope to see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. All right, what's next?